Thank you for tuning in for this presentation of a new publication in the BJUI entitled Serotatic Ablative Body Radiotherapy for Inoperable Primary Kidney Cancer, a Prospective Clinical Trial. This was an interventional single institutional prospective clinical trial with IRB approval at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre in Melbourne, Australia. The inclusion criteria were of patients of ECOG performance status at 0 to 2 inclusive and patients who were medically inoperable, high risk for surgery due to the likelihood of post-surgical dialysis or refused surgery. The exclusion criteria were for patients not allowed to receive systemic therapy either prior to or concurrent with the SABRE. And the intervention was a single fraction of SABRE for primary RCC less than 5 cm in size and 3 by 14 gray of SABRE for renal cell carcinomas at 5 cm or greater. The immobilization was a dual vacuum immobilization technique which kept the patients comfortably awake and immobilized during the treatment period. The treatment planning technique was predominantly 3D conformal, although IMRT was also used. We published our treatment planning technique in 2014. The patient characteristics. Between the two year accrual period, there were 64 patients screened into this trial. There were 37 patients with 38 RCCs enrolled with a 92% biopsy confirmation rate. The median age was 78 years old with 74% being male and the Charleston comorbidity score of 8 or greater was found 77% indicating a, a comorbid patient cohort. In 11 patients, referral was due to the risk of perceived post-surgical dialysis. Patient characteristics can be seen here in this table and the T stage was T1B in the majority of cases indicating that most patients had greater than 4 cm tumours. The mean largest tumour dimension was 49.2 mm and the predominant histological subtype was clear cell carcinoma at 88%. Results. The median follow up was of 2 years. The freedom from local failure at 1 and 2 years was 100%. This treatment was incredibly well tolerated with one patient receiving a grade 3 treatment related toxicity uh, which was fatigue. The freedom from distant failure at one year was 97% and at two years was 89%. And the overall survival at one year was 100% and at two years was 92%. We measured GFR using a split function DMSA spec CT scan and calculated GFR using chromium EDTA, chromium 51 EDTA and the baseline GFR is 55 mils per minute on average and this reduced by 11 mils per minute and this was stable from one year to two years in time. In conclusion, SABRE was feasible and tolerable for both small and large primary renal cell carcinoma and we report encouraging efficacy outcomes and acceptable renal function outcomes in an already impaired cohort. The limitations of this study are that longer term outcomes are required for oncological and functional endpoints and histological confirmation was not always achieved in 8% not receiving histology. There are a few prospective studies in this field and these outcomes are needed to be validated in a multi-centre setting. I'd like to thank the patients and the families that were participating in this study and the role of the funding sources. Thank you very much.